Hello and welcome back. Recall that we added the forgot password functionality whereby if a user forgets his uh, registration password, the user clicks on this link, it will take them to the forgot password page where they can insert their email address. And when they click on the submit button, it's going to send or the user will receive an email with a link whereby if they click that link, they can reset the password. Now, if from here we can we decide to go to the password page or reset password to see the form. Here we just have the user inputting the, the password. What we want to do here is we want to put input another field to confirm the password that the user inputted. So if the password that the user inputted matches, then the form will be submitted or the password will be reset in the database. Else it's going to display an error. Now for us to add the form field, let's go to our test editor. Then inside our reset underscore password dot PHP, here inside the form, we have a div that holds the input field. What we want to do is we want to add another field that says confirm password. We copy that and we paste. First, let's take out this we can just copy it out, place it at the top here. We can change the name to error confirm um, password. Error confirm. Oh, we don't need that. We're going to be doing the validation on the server side. So we can take that out. And also, we take this out. We don't need that as well. Then here, it should be confirm password. We change the na name to we can call it C password IDC password. So if we go back to our browser and we refresh, we see we have the password and the confirm password field. If you want, you can use um, uh, CSS to expand the width of this form. Or the div that holds this form but for now I'm just going to leave it the way it is now the next thing we need to do is we go into our uh, script in the reset underscore pass dot php that is where we are uh, uh, allowing the user to insert their password so what we want to do right now is we first of all get the password the confirm password from the input field so we can call it or we can just copy this we paste then we we'll change this to c password as we called it change it to c pass underscore word then the next thing is we clean the password we can call this c pass then c pass or if we like we don't really need this because if the password are not equal then it will not be inserted into the database we can just leave this out for now what we need is just this password and this now the next thing we need to do is before the data is updated we need to perform a check so we're going to include an if statement so we're going to say if the password which is this if the password or C pass underscore word is not equal to C pass underscore word. What this means is if the password the user typed in is not equal to the C password. So if this password here is not equal to the one here, then we're going to display an alert message. I call this confirm error. Then we copy this and we just say password does not match. So if the password are different, we say password does not match. Else, if it does match, 
then we insert the data into the database so we just copy this update query or we update the data in the database so we just copy this update query inside the else statement so what we are doing here is we got the confirm password from the form then here we are checking if the password is not equal to the confirm password display an error else if they, are, they do match then the password in the uh, table should be updated now the next thing is we just add this confirm password here as a global variable then the next thing is we call this inside the reset password so here we echo the error echo so this will display the error now what we need to do is we need to test this out to see so if you go through it one more time the functionality is just a simple functionality we get the um, confirm password value from the form here we perform a check if the password which the user is imputing is not equal to the confirm password then we display an error else if they are equal then we update the password for the user inside the sign up table now the what, next thing we're going to do is we go back to our page so the in I'm going to do here is I'll click on the forgot password page then I'll input my email the email that was used during registration and I'll click on submit so I'll wait for the email to be sent here it says an email to reset your password has been sent so I'll wait for the email to be sent so now we see that we've received an email that says reset your password so I click on it then here's the link it says please follow the link to reset your password if I click on the link it's going to open a new page now here I can type my password making sure that the password and the confirm password match so if I type a new password and type a different password for the confirm password field so here I type a different password so I click on reset now you see it says password does not match or we can say change this to password do not match well I think that is going to be much better so we'll see that again type password and a different password it says passwords do not match but if we type the correct password I'll click on reset here we're typing in the correct password the password for this field and this field they are the same so we'll click on reset password now it said your password reset is successful so if we go to our database we refresh um, the password is reset then we can try to log in and see how it looks we're supposed to put a form here or a link here to take us to our page we can go from here then we click on um, login I will log in with our detail so I will log in with my email and the new password and we'll see now we we'll see that the password reset was successful so change the password and I was able to um, log in with the new password so this is how the confirm functionality or confirm password functionality works which is just a simple functionality we are implementing so in the next video we continue working on the application